The USA women do it again. Gold in China, a third straight super final crown. Masters Nationals complete. We have all the results. And Fresno State, new program, now a new head coach coming up on the counterattack. Hi everyone, Greg Meskel here. Thanks for joining us on the Counterattack. We start in Shanghai, China and the FINA World League Superfinal. It's an event the USA Women's National Team has come to dominate. Coming into this year, they've won the gold medal nine times. They had won it the last two years in a row. Same result this year in China. Team USA taking on rival Spain. They win it 13-9 for their third straight Superfinal crown, 10th overall championship. This is an event that isn't even two decades old. Courtney Mathewson named MVP. She scored two goals in the final alongside Maddie Musselman and Maggie Steffens. Ashley Johnson with nine saves as Team USA keeps it rolling picking up their third straight gold medal in a major tournament here in 2016. The next big event, you know it, the 2016 Olympic Games on the way. We will announce the roster for that team this Thursday at the LA84 Foundation. Stay tuned to all the USA Water Polo social media at USAWP to find out first the 13 that are headed to Rio. And after we name that team, you can see them in action because Team USA will play a host of matches coming up over the next two months. First to the East Coast, Miami, Greenwich, the Bronx. Tickets for two of those three games still on sale at usawaterpolo.org. Don't miss your chance if you're on the East Coast to see Team USA in action. And then come July, they'll welcome Russia to the West Coast for games in San Diego, Los Angeles, and then right in the middle of Junior Olympics to close things out before the big trip to Rio. Tickets coming soon for those games to usawaterpolo.org. From the women's senior national team, we look towards Masters Water Polo and the Masters National Championship, which wrapped this past weekend in Irvine. And while the stakes may not be as high, you can be sure the Masters athletes are having a whole lot of fun. The results from this past weekend, 13 different age groups crowning champs. And let's get you caught up on who won what. Gold medals given out all over the place. William Wold Aquatic Center serving as the main venue, but others in the Irvine area, Beckman and Tustin, chipping in as well. Let's go to the men's winners, 20-plus Olympic Club. They always do well in this event. They take first. Alumni Water Polo takes second. Dark side in third to 30-plus. On the men's side, more Olympic Club in first. Santa Monica second. Sunset San Diego third. To the men's 40-plus, we're not a broken record, if anyone even knows what a broken record is anymore. Olympic Club takes gold, Ventura, Water Polo in second, Dark Side in third. To 45-plus, Bay Area Masters, Bam in first, Bruin second, Blue Thunder Masters in third. To men's 50-plus, Sunset San Diego, gold, Ventura, Water Polo takes silver, Chaos 50-plus takes third. To the 55-plus division, Santa Barbara Masters A, taking on Santa Barbara Masters B, it was a good game. They played each other throughout the weekend, and Santa Barbara Masters A takes the gold. Blue Thunder Masters taking bronze there at 55 plus, 60 plus. Santa Barbara Masters B takes the gold. Old Mission Bay takes the silver. Blue Thunder Masters takes the bronze. And then 65 plus, some of the best names here in the Masters Nationals. The Tri Valley Spartans take gold. The Blue Thunder Sultans take silver. And don't mess with those Blue Thunder Lords. They took bronze. Now to the women's competition. 20-plus, OC Riptide takes home the gold. Los Altos United in second with the silver. And Dark Side, bronze at third place. 30-plus now, Dark Side comes away with the gold medal. Olympic Club in at silver and Menlo Park water polo in the bronze. 40-plus now, Gray Hairs bring home the gold. Silver, Calgary Splash. And bronze, Sunset San Diego. 50-plus, Calgary Splash. They're on top of the podium with the gold medal. Honolulu in at silver and Peninsula in the bronze. And 55 plus, the Fighting Flamingos, another fantastic name in women's water polo at the Masters. They take gold. The Soda Moms, they're not soda drinkers. They play at the Soda Aquatic Center in Northern California. They take silver and Calgary Splash in at bronze. Congrats to all of our teams for competing. Full results at usawaterpolo.org to check out all the standings and game-by-game -game results. We weren't able to get highlights of every game out there this weekend in Irvine, but here are some of the crucial matchups to determine who won medals. We go first, 20-plus women's final, Los Altos United, OC Riptide. Riptide opening up with this shot from distance. That's all net. After that, Allie Beck for Riptide. She'll deliver on the penalty. 
Riptide continues to keep it moving. Kelsey Ferreira hitting here in the second half. How about Los Altos? They get one back. Hannah Coran tries to rally the troops, scoring here. But too much OC Riptide going head-to-head -head here with the keeper. Riptide comes out on top. They win it 7-4. Afterwards, Allie Beck on the win and just the joy of playing Masters Water Polo. I think it was a great experience. It was a lot of fun to get in with, you know, girls that you either have played with or have never played with um, and play water polo and still prove you still got it, I guess. Um, and then, of course, winning is always fun. So it's been a nice weekend. 30 plus men, Olympic Club versus Santa Monica water polo. Zach Monsies in the second makes it 4 to 2 for Oak Club. A little bit after that, Frank Reynolds delivering here to make it 5 2. And then Chris Lathrop in the third making it 6-3. Olympic Club goes on to take it 12-3. Brian Alexander joining us afterwards. What I can take away from the Masters Tournament is that um, first of all we won, which is always good. And second of all, we won as a team and uh, we're getting ready really for Masters World Championships next summer in Hungary. So every chance we get to play together is a good chance to get that. 30 plus women, Dark Side versus Olympic Club. Linnell Wiley opens things up for Dark Side, making it one to nothing in the first. Oak Club returns fire. Julia Sesnick tying things at one. Brenna Fleener keeps Oak Club in the mix, scoring here, but back to Linnell Wiley. She'll close things out for Dark Side. Nine to five, they win it. Referee, often Masters player this weekend, Danielle DeBagian telling us about the win and respect for Masters athletes. I've been roughing this event over 15 years and just the first time I ever played in it and it's just amazing that they do this all the time. I just, I have a great deal of respect for them. Women's 40s, Long Beach Battle Axes, they had a great run in 2015 taking on the Gray Hairs. This is not the deciding game, but a game to showcase what the Gray Hairs did on the way to gold in the 40s plus division. Christy Denham delivering here for the Gray Hairs. Not long after, Olympian Courtney Johnson from Heather Flynn keeps the Gray Hairs in the lead. And then Gray Hair goalie Molly Stanton doing what she does in the net, taking part in multiple saves, keeping the battle axes at bay. Katina Kitchens trying to get Long Beach in the mix, rallying for a goal here in the fourth. And then Stacey Hensley will redirect this shot into the back of the net, but too much gray hairs on this day. They win it 9-4. to four. Dunham talking about the win and her team afterwards. Well, what makes it super fun is my team is just amazing. They all work really hard. They play great team defense. They cheer each other on. We really support each other. We're not afraid to take chances because the team, you know your team's behind you. So, And then we have an awesome coach and... The whole program, Oakland Water Polo, is just super great to play with. Men's 40-plus gold medal game, Olympic Club, taking on Ventura Water Polo Club. This was a good one. Ryan Bailey, we know that guy, four-time Olympian, scores on the rebound for the O Club. Then one of the voices of Water Polo, Dean Quintal, winding up and beating the keeper here in the second. Ventura finding their way back into this game. They'll score here in the second quarter and then again to open the third, keeping things close. More Ventura later on. Gary O'Brien scoring again, but not enough. Olympic Club would take this one 14-12. Afterwards, Olympic Club's Andy Burke on the new 40s team, how they've gelled in the victory. Well, we got down with a new group in the 40s, and they really hadn't played together. The first game wasn't good. We got waxed, but we realized what our mistakes were, and Russ Haver came as our coach, put everybody on the same page. The guys came Second back place. with the idea that we knew we were going to see Ventura and we knew we were going to get revenge. 55 plus women, the Fighting Flamingos taking on Calgary Splash. All Flamingos in this one. Early on, the lob, Michelle Canale scoring. Chris Blessy lobs it over the goalie's head for the Flamingos. That's in the back of the net. Then Patricia Shillington of the Fighting Flamingos goes for the shot and she scores it. Flamingos did it on defense as well. Goalie Dion Gray staying warm with the sleeve. She was on fire, only allowed two goals. The Fighting Flamingos win it 11-2. Debbie Cavanaugh telling us about the team and the win afterwards. It was extremely fun, first of all. We had a great time. Uh, Calgary always comes out strong, gives us a, a very hard first quarter, and then we seem to finally get in our rhythm and uh, 
we did a great job out there and we have such fun playing and playing against the other 55 year old teams. It, it's just really a neat experience. Men's 55 plus championship Santa Barbara A, Blue Thunder Masters, all Santa Barbara in this one. Greg Boyer, another no name, opens in the second with a far ranging skip shot. Then Joel Wade showing the defense in net coming up with the save here. After that, Santa Barbara turns to Russ Hafferkamp. He'll control and score for Santa Barbara. And then more Hafferkamp solidifying this one, putting the squad up 14-5. That will be your final score. Santa Barbara taking goal on the 55+. plus. Cameron McBee on what keeps him playing Masters water polo. Well, it's great to see everybody. It's like you see your college buddies once a year for me. And also for me, it's a reason to get in shape, you know, for this every year. Um, start swimming harder, do cross training, uh, outrigger, some uh, lifting, and biking. 65 plus, not the oldest division, the most experienced division on the men's side. Tri-Valley Spartans taking on Blue Thunder Lords. Michael Hendrickson does not miss from there, scoring in close for Tri-Valley in the first half. After that, Scott Mobley of Tri-Valley keeps the scoring rolling. He delivers. Dennis Belly goes over the goalie's head in the second half for Tri-Valley. Back to Belly again with a lob shot. He puts it in. Tri-Valley takes it 11-4, and a fired-up Bob Likens after the win. It was a great weekend. This was the first time ever we had a bracket for the age 65 and up. We had played exhibition games in previous tournaments. It was way more fun having a bracket with three teams. And seeing so many of the guys that I played with in college and high school come together because they're in the same bracket. It was a wonderful weekend, and it's very well organized, and the pools are great here, and Irvine's a nice city, too. Now we turn our attention to women's college water polo. And just a couple of weeks ago, we were in Fresno for the USA Australia Series. And we told you about the new women's college water polo program coming to Fresno State. And now we've got more news for you. The Bulldogs are one step closer to announcing the first ever coach of women's water polo at Fresno State. The school says they have plans to announce the coach this week. We'll keep you posted. As soon as we know, you will know. Stay close to USA Water Polo by following us at USAWP. If you enjoy reading and you like water polo, we assume at least the latter is true since you're watching The Counterattack. Our next story is for you. A brand new book from former French national team player Frederick Durand is now available, Water Polo Legends. And this is a really cool book that Durand put together interviewing 50 of the best water polo players of all time. Team USA legend Craig Wilson, the goalkeeper on the cover right here. Durand talks to not only some of the best in USA history, past and present, but athletes from countries all over. Lots of names you know in the water polo community featured in this book. Current athletes like Team USA great Tony Azevedo or Serbian star Filip Filipovic, and then some of the all-time greats. Team USA's Terry Schroeder, legendary coach Ratko Rudic, Hungarian great Gurgli Kish. The list goes on and on. And what's neat about this book, it's 50 small interviews with these athletes, quick one to the next. So be sure to check out Water Polo Legends, 50 amazing stories. And if you'd like to purchase a copy or learn more about the book, email Frederick Durand at the address here on the screen. From the written word to fun pictures, a couple of USA national team athletes appearing in some well-known magazines this week ahead of the Rio Olympic Games. First up, Maggie Steffens in Glamour Magazine. They rounded up 25 Olympic athletes to give an epic pep talk. Maggie, one of them, as you can see some of her thoughts here. When Maggie's having a tough day, she thinks about her teammates. They're able to help pick her up. That's how she keeps going through some of those grueling swim sessions. And now to W Magazine, where Tony Azevedo was featured in a recent issue. Don't worry, he's not going to wear the watch in the pool. But thanks to W Magazine for featuring Tony and USA Water Polo. And now we'll close things out with our social media send-off, the best of the water polo world that we've found online in the last week. Don't forget, you can contribute. Use the hashtag counterattack, tag us at USAWP. We start things off first with Sammy Hill and Ashley Johnson showing off their brand new hardware after winning gold at the FINA World League Superfinal, taking a, a bit of a tougher approach. These are two pretty friendly people. They look like you don't want to mess with them in this photo after coming home with a gold medal. Ashley Johnson also sharing on Twitter the streets of Shanghai. If you wonder what it looked like for Team USA on their bus driving to the pool, a brief visit there via the Ash Johnson. After that, if you play water polo in Texas, maybe Florida, elsewhere, where lightning tends to strike, you've been part of a delay for weather, that didn't slow down the Viper Pigeons. When it was time to get back in the pool, they showed off thanks to Texas Pink Ninja on Twitter for sharing this. 
Flop Friday from Olivia and her Twitter account, Gamache Olivia. Thanks for sharing this. That's a nice job on the Flop Friday. And then Kenzie sharing this Flop Friday, a little Missy Elliott, flip it and reverse it. Thanks to Kenzie for sending that one in. Last but not least, Ottawa Water Polo finishing things off strong with their season with a great water polo cake. And then they sent it to us, not the cake, just a picture. Thanks, Ottawa Water Polo, for sharing that. We always love a good water polo cake. So that's the best of what we saw this week on the internet. Thanks for sharing. Don't forget, you can contribute. Use the hashtag counterattack. That'll do it for this week's show. Thanks for watching, and don't forget when you're on the counterattack, look weak side.